So there are times the people that come into church, they, they show up right after church starts. They sit in the very back, you know, someplace. Um, John Sanders, he's a, our campus pastor at Head Campus. He used to come in the old building. He'd come in, sit in the very back corner, and he'd pull his baseball cap down like this. And he'd sit, and it's like, we didn't know if he was a mass murderer or what he was. Like, dude, just stay away from that dude because he's not happy. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I mean, it's funny now, but I'm just telling you stories, right? I, I've seen people start in the back and work their way up. Like, you, you can tell what's happening because they, they start working their way forward. And the old building was, it was, it was more long and narrow, so it was a little different than here. But it's like, they, I mean, they, they're like two miles away from me back there, and then all of a sudden they're on the second row crying like a baby. <laughs> Grown men, you know? I mean, can you imagine if you're the one engaged in that game? It's not just somebody else's friend or somebody who comes to church. It's you're engaged in that game. And you're praying for them, and you're seeing God draw them, and you're seeing them work through processes and conversations. See, that's the culture we have to create. We have to be able to maintain that it's not just a culture of redemption because Tim preaches the gospel from the stage. It's who we are. It's how we operate. It's how we think. That, yeah, there's all kinds of things we can debate and talk about, and we can, but really at the end of the day, what matters is the gospel. When we die, nobody cares if you're a Bears fan or a Cowboys fan or a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Well, heaven might a little bit, but nobody's going to care really. Nobody's going to care if you're Republican or Democrat. Nobody's going to care if, you're, if you think COVID's you know, this, you think COVID's that. Nobody's going to care. When you die, you spend eternity separate from God in a place called hell, or you spend eternity with God in a place called heaven. It's that simple. And while we're here living, you're living with hope or you're living without hope. You're living empowered by the Spirit of God or you're living not empowered by the Spirit of God. 